everybody, Crusher Callan here, and today I'm playing Ark Survival Evolved, and in this episode I'm going to be showing you guys how to get pearls on Ark Aberration. So this guide will involve both taming an angler, um, how to get the angler to where the pearls spawn, and um, just showing you where those pearls spawn as well. So um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So just a bit of an update is that... Um, We've not been doing very well in small tribes at all. We've been getting wiped and that. We've still got a base up, but it's just very hard to farm there. So raiding and everything is just a bit too tough. And plus, I've just been I've been on a bit of a losing streak at the moment, so it hasn't been going too well. So I've kind of given up with that, and I've gone back to normal officials, and so I'm normal official. And so I'm playing in a tribe with um, about 30-odd other people, and it's a lot more enjoyable to be playing with a lot more other people. Um, Especially being that on small tribes, I was mostly solo throughout the whole time. So, um, yeah, this has been a lot more enjoyable. Um, I've been playing a bit of Valgero as well. I hope to get a video out soon. Some great PvP has been happening, and we've gotten ourselves off to a really nice start. Um, but, yeah, hopefully you'll see that in a upcoming video. Uh, but, yeah, let's get straight into the, ta the um, pearls. So... You can go straight to the lake and get pearls there on foot, but you will need scuba and flippers. Um, however, I really suggest you use this method instead. So what you need to do is first tame yourself an anglerfish. So anglerfish can be found at this location right here, 36.8, 63.6, located in the blue zone. So you can find them pretty much throughout this whole lake area at the very bottom of the blue zone, but this one area right by this waterfall has a lot of anglerfish spawns. So when you head down here you'll need a light pet and you'll probably need a decent mount because um, as you can see there's ravages and megalos and some dangerous dinos around and it gets even worse when you get into the water. So taming these guys is not going to be easy. Now there's a few ways you can go about this. You can just sit out of the water, find yourself an anglerfish and shoot into the water to try and get it. Um, and this might work every now and then, but you're probably better off to build yourself a trap and lure it into it. See, I've just got it there and it's running away, but, oh, actually, I think I've got the crab instead. So as you can see, this area is very dangerous, but the taming's pretty simple. You just knock them out. They will require quite a few tranks, about 50 at least, I believe. So you'll need a pretty good crossbow with, or not, it doesn't have to, it can be print, but you'll need... Uh, around about 50 odd tranks, I'd suggest you bring 70 and um, to tame it you'll need regular mutton or sorry regular kibble or just raw mutton either works um, but yeah so the main like actually taming them isn't hard it just take they're, they're quite a long tame it's mainly like keeping them safe because there's a lot of stuff going around here so, like, it's, it, it's really up to you on how to combat that, because, um, you know, it's, it, it's very different on different days. Sometimes the lake will have barely any anglerfish or barely any predators and that, but um, there's no one particular way of dealing with things. But the best advice I can give you is probably to build a trap and to um, use a megalo to clear out all the dinos, because it is quite dangerous down here. And just a few warnings, things you need to be careful of, are these little buggers down here, Baryonyx. They're your worst enemy when you're in the water because they keep you stunned and you cannot move. And they're quick too. So definitely exterminate them first. first. And then the, your next issue will be jellyfish because they do the same, they're just a bit slower. And then you'll also need to be careful of the eels. And then other than that, you've got the crabs and the sarcos and just about everything else down here. So. Taming these guys isn't going to be easy, but that's about as much um, info that I can give you on that. Um, but yeah, so once you've got your anglerfish tamed, um, I'll just have to spawn one in here. Um, but yeah, so as you'll notice, there's no pels in this lake, and I don't think you'd really want to get pels in here anyway because it's too dangerous. Um, so what you have to do is you have to take your anglerfish um, up to the green zone where there's a lake with both pels and few predators. So I'll get to that in just a minute. So I'll see you then. Alrighty guys, I'm back with my two anglerfish. So this next bit relies on how quick 
you can get the anglerfish around because you can't take an anglerfish up a waterfall and there's no other way of getting them up into the green zones. So this requires a bit of a um a bit of a sneaky, cheeky sort of method that can be a bit confusing and a bit um a bit, you know, painful. But I'm gonna try and clear it out a bit. So there's two ways of doing it. So with the not so recent release of cryopods you can tame your anglerfish and then cryopod it up and then you'll have an unlimited amount of time to get out of my way frog you'll have an unlimited amount of time to take it over to the green zone so if you've got cryos definitely use them but I understand that it, not everyone can get cryos they're not the easiest things to get in the game so there, but there is another method of doing it this one more relies on Jeez. This one more relies on, um, calm down guys, don't know why they're attacking me, but okay. Alrighty, um, so basically what you want to do is you want to get yourself a fish trap which are extremely cheap, you want to chuck it down right in front of your angler fish and then it will, the trap will initialize. And then as soon as the um, writing goes blue, press E and you've got your anglerfish in a fish trap. So this is where it becomes, you need to be quick. You've got five minutes to take it up to the green zone. So what you want to do from here is you want to go um, from the lake and you want to head directly up the waterfall. So this is where having a mana or a rock drake is real handy. Um, right then. That was not very handy whatsoever, Drake. Um, but yeah, this is where having a mana or a rock drake is real handy because they're very effective at scaling up the um, the cliffside here. Um, but you can you can manage it with a ravager or a megalo or something like that. You just have to take a longer route, um, which is around to my left. Um, but definitely, if you've got a rock drake or a mana, use this method instead. It will save a lot of your time. So basically from here, you just want to follow this lake um, until you get to a massive giant pond. So it's not too far from here, so you really should be able to get it over with ease. So you just want to follow the lake, it'll take you around a few bends in that. Um, another thing is this area is quite dangerous, there will be spinos and crabs along it. But if you've got a drake or a mana, or even a megalo, you should be fine. So from here on, you just want to throw the lake up, and then it will split off in two directions. There'll be a small little creek, and then the large, um, the large river. You just want to follow this little creek upwards, and so this will lead you directly to the giant big lake where all the pearls are at. So there's a few pearls on your way. You can deploy the um, anglerfish if you need to to get them, but there's tons in here anyway, so I don't see why you need to do that. And so there you go, now you're at the giant lake. Now this thing is absolutely full of pearls, so just drop your anglerfish in and start swimming around. Um, one thing to note is if you if you can't manage to get your anglerfish directly to this lake in time before the fish trap um, spoils, what you can do is you can chuck it down in any body of water, make another fish trap, trap it again, and that will reset the timer reset the five minutes so you get an additional five minutes to get it to the lake so um, yeah if you if you can't be quick then just bring a few with you like I have here and um, yeah then you'll be good so once you're here hop on your anglerfish without placing the trap so hop on your angler oh my god alright then I'll just use the one in the cryo that's just fine don't don't mind me game so pop out your cryo, um, pop out your anglerfish, and then just swim around here, and there'll be the glowing white silica pearls. And so you won't get this many from one. This is single player. I don't know what the rates are on it, um, but they're pretty insane compared to what it would be on official. But it doesn't matter. This is the best spot on aberration for pearls. So as you can see, they're all along the floor here. They're up along the side walls as well, and even in the shallow bits. So you just want to swim all along here and get as many pearls as you can. And then once you are done with get, get, getting your pearls, you can build a little box to make sure it stays, stays safe. And you can just leave your anglerfish in that box. Um, 
or you can also just cry it and leave it in your base which is probably even safer but there again not everyone has cryos so yeah just follow the, the um, pond along and you'll get tons of pearls something else I forgot to mention as well is that I don't have um, my oxygen doesn't decrease because I've got infinite stats on so you will need scuba or you'll have to be very careful with how you manage it you have to go to the surface very often um, but yeah, um, all of that out of the way, this is a great way of getting pills, both unofficial, both official and unofficial, and I really suggest you do use this method, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like, and um, if you've got any feedback, put it in the comment section down below, and hopefully, I'll see you all in the next video, bye!